13th anniversary of the worst attack on American soil. Uh, September 11, 2001. We must remember that day. We must always remember that day. We must never put it behind us. We must never say, well, it's in the past. Let's move on. We can never move on. The other thing that we must remember is that we're not any safer today, maybe less safe than we were on that day. And part of the reason is because this administration has eviscerated our military. We've not gone after our enemies and our southern border is wide open. Matt, what happened in 9-11 was a crime against humanity, and America should always remember that and work diligently to make sure that that never happens again. But no government can keep its population totally 100 percent safe. So we must do our due diligence to send a message to those terrorists that if you're successful in striking America, we will hunt you down like the criminals you are and you will pay the consequences. But also, I think that we should do a better job in this country of educating the American public. The first time that airplanes were used, to kill hundreds and potentially thousands of people in this country was not September the 11th. It was in the 1930s in Tulsa, Oklahoma, when on a Sunday afternoon, white people who were jealous of the prosperity of an entire black community oh as well God. got in airplanes and so, bombed their what, less people than a minute. and killed hundreds. And some studies say up to 4,000 African-Americans were murdered in Tulsa, Oklahoma using airplanes. What has that got to do with 9-11? What has that got to do with what the hell we're talking about? Because you said, how do we remember? And what I want you to understand is we should remember 9-11 the same way we remember Tulsa, Oklahoma, and what happened with that terrorist act against black people. Let me explain something to you, Quanell. These people in the Middle East, like ISIS, they want to kill you. They want to kill me. They want to kill your kids. They want to kill everybody. So instead of making this a racist argument, let's talk about Americans. We're all Americans, right? And Matt. So let's and Matt. The country. hundreds, potentially thousands that were murdered in Tulsa, Oklahoma, were Americans being murdered and slaughtered by terrorists who were Americans also. So don't tell me that when white people are slaughtered in New York, and yes, they white were, people? and black people died what too. Are you talking about all people? races died in New York. There but were don't Catholics, tell me there were Muslims, we there, were Jews, there were Asians, whites, and blacks. Yes, all a kinds crime of against killed. humanity. But remember, the first time it happened was when you did it to black people in Oklahoma using airplanes. Chickens come home to roost whether you like it or not. Wow, man. I, you know what? The reason why this country is in such dire shape Matt, is because line people is like you educate have the lost American focus public. on what made this country great. And America, they didn't make this country great. Everybody in this country made America great, but pay all of its citizens the correct homage and treat all of us equal. The first terrorists were not them from Arabs. It was right here in America. Notice how he says we must always remember, we must never forget. So when something happens to them in large, everyone is expected to remember, everyone is expected to feel sorrowful or to feel some type of anguish for them. But when you wanna talk about what they have done to you, that's where the problem comes in. They tell you these words, we hear these words all the time, get over it, that's in the past or my ancestors did that, not me. Thus saith the Lord my God, feed the flock of the slaughter, whose possessors slay them, and hold themselves not guilty. And they that sell them say, Blessed be the Lord, for I am rich, and their own shepherds pity them not. The level of hypocrisy we see today is astounding. We must remember that day. We must always remember that day. We must never put it behind us. We must never say, well, it's in the past. Let's move on. We can never move on. We must remember that day. We must always remember that day. We must never put it behind us. We must never say, well, it's in the past. My own offspring. They are just like their father. My children do the works of their father. They lie and deceive just like me. In Genesis, it says, And I will put in many between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. There is hatred 
between the woman seed and my seed. Between her children and my children. My children are just like me. They steal, kill, and destroy. Just look around, and you will know them by their works. <laughs> Ha 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 ha